Right. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to my Wednesday night crafting video. Um, my name is Anne Marie Jakobic. I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator in Canada. So, welcome. Um, if you're here, please uh, pop on and say hello. And um, if you're watching the replay, um, then welcome and I'm glad that you stopped by. Okay, tonight I'm going to be showing you a card that I made that I'm going to make with the new um, tartan foil um, specialty paper that just came out. Hi Claire, how are you doing? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make a card with that. Um, I just didn't want to, and it's not a Christmas card. <laughs> um, I didn't. I thought I would have a change and not do a Christmas card tonight, um, and just show how you can use this paper. It's not just for Christmas because um, it's very neutral colours, and um, yeah. So uh, I'm good, uh, Claire. Thanks for asking. I'm uh, yeah, been busy. My back's been hurting a little bit, but yeah. That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> so um, it's definitely fall in the air right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I will uh, get started um, and show you what we're doing. Um, and just wanted to point out that there are new products were, were added to the clearance rack. If you're interested in any of that, some good deals on there which I'm sure won't stay around for very long. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on there up to 60% off. So be sure and check that out. Um, I will put a link to my online store in the description and I will put it in the comments or you can actually, um, it's on my profile in my Facebook page. Okay, let me just get started here you down to my table. It's back over here, I think. That's where it goes. Okay. There we go. So, so this is the paper using it's just got like a shine to it and on the other side is this so this is a lost lagoon color so we're going to make a card with this today tonight i'm going to start out with a lost lagoon card base regular card base e2 it's a eight and a half by five and a half it's scored at four and a quarter I'll just fold that. I didn't quite do that right. There we go. And then I'm going to use a layer of some of the silver um, foil sheets like this. And then this piece is going to go on here like this. Just a small, small border around it. Okay, let me just glue these on okay Even get this food on straight because I'm not as, as you know. See, as soon as I put it down, it. So 
what I like about the liquid glue is you can shimmy it around a wee bit. I don't know if I cut this properly. This is not right. Nope, it doesn't look like I've done it. Hi Karen, how are you doing? I'll just do it anyway. Hold on one second. I'm just going to cut another one because I'm not quite happy with that one. I'll be with you in a wee minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, something always goes wrong. <laughs> Let's just do another one. It's too bad about this one. Oh, good. I'm glad you got the recipe, okay? Um... Maybe I'll just use it. Let me see. Let me see what I'm going to do here. Oh. Hold on one second. Okay. There we go, sorted. And then this one in here. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to use another piece, which we're going to put here, and then um, let's see what other piece I'm going to use. This one, I think. 
get this one on top. So I'm going to use dimension. I'm going to dimensional this, but let's stick this one on first. Well, if you make the banana bread, Karen, let me know how it goes. Like, I'm not Mark. Mark is the baker in the house, <laughs> which I'm quite happy about. Okay, now where did I put my dimensionals? Come on, dimensionals, where are you? Okay. This one we're going to put the middle about. Let's make sure I do this right. Yes. I always have to stand up when I'm doing this. go and then we're going to do a little bit of stamping okay now the stamp that I'm going to use for this is from the pansy patch I'm going to use this one uh, wishing you a little extra happiness because you're you. So when Mark made the banana bread, we actually had quite a few bananas that were that were turning brown. So I suggested he make banana bread, and so he used five bananas. So just so you know, um, let's just put this about. I'm using Prairie Peacock ink for this. And then we're going to die cut. Yeah, I really like this stamp set. I yeah, uh, I just like the the way. I, yeah, I like it. This is this uh, this has been out for quite a while, but and I'll usually um I want to use it for the sentiments. When it first came out, I made some of these, but these take a lot of work. <laughs> So I'm going to use the um, something fancy dies. It's just just a little bit snug, but it will will manage. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Hold on. There we go. Let's bring this out a bit so it doesn't move. Do you do a lot of card making, Karen? This is squeaky. Okay, and then we're going to do a, a larger layer with the silver foil. layer behind it. Have you 
you started your Christmas cards yet? Okay, this is going to go here like this. Let's just put some glue on here. I think when you're when you're sticking it onto foil paper, it moves. So just just leave that like that for a minute, and we'll do the inside layer while while that's drying a little bit. So this one we're using the same stamp set, and we're going to do this one. The little things you do make such a big difference. That on the inside. Are you working on your Thanksgiving cards? <laughs> I don't do Thanksgiving cards. Thanksgiving is very soon in Canada. Two weeks, I believe it is. About two weeks. Okay, then I, I cut a piece of the, oh, where is it? It's not the one I wanted. This piece we're going to make it right here. Put it on the inside. This way or this way? Mm. glue on that um, I have been stamping for about 10 years I started off doing um, scrapbooking um, started off scrapbooking And then someone, sorry, someone at my work started using Stampin' Up and she invited me to a class. I used to work in a daycare and one of the parents took me to a Stampin' Up class and that got me hooked. Let's just put this in right now while we've got it. But I was never crafty before that. And I hear a lot of people say when I mention, um, you know, card making and paper crafting, they say, oh, I'm not, I'm not um, crafty. Well, I was not crafty either, but stamping up products make it easy easy to make cards because everything everything coordinates the colors I just love it so I think I'll put this on dimensionals also oh something else I was going to do I'm going to put a piece of the foil across the way So Karen, are you a demonstrator? Or just a happy shopper? <laughs> Okay, 
Let's put this about here. Hobby shopper, yeah. Isn't that nice how it shines? Okay, let's put some bling on it. So this is, these are called Iridescent Adhesive Back Discs. So I'm going to use, depending on the way, depending on the way you look at it, it turns a different color. <laughs> so I'm going to use these ones. Here, two up here, one down here. Yeah, I think that will do. So, pretty quick card. Except for me getting the measurements wrong in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's not too fancy, and it would do for. Um, for, for either male or female, uh, it's uh, very neutral, and then on the inside. So let me just turn my camera around. this out of my way <laughs> so here it is like uh, like I said I wanted it <clears throat> I didn't want to do a Christmas card again <laughs> give it a rest for a few days <laughs> oh thank you April and thanks for joining um yeah so uh I really like this paper it's uh it's so nice and that's that's not in the catalogue and it's not in the mini, it's on the online exclusives on my web on my online store. So you should go check that out. And don't forget to check out the clearance rack because <clears throat> a lot of a lot of um, products were added to it this week. So anyway, um, thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, and if you're watching me on YouTube. Um, if you could give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. And if you're not a subscriber, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching me on Facebook, thanks a lot. And if you could give me a like, I would really like that. So um, I'll be coming back on live again on Sunday morning at 10.30. And I will be making a Christmas card that day. Because <laughs> um, there's... I've, there's so much nice stuff in the, in the mini catalogue. I can't wait to, to use it. So um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And um, if you're watching the replay, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Okay, bye.